All right, what's up, guys? So by now, you already know the benefits of semen retention. If you don't, go and check out some of my videos. Check out some of these other great guys on YouTube. Really dropping knowledge and, you know, making sure that our community stays intact. We have a community now of people who don't bust nuts. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so... With all of the benefits in mind, I want to talk about some of the things that maybe you should consider doing uh, while you're practicing this. I'm doing it, in case you want to know, um, because I practice what I preach. I preach what I practice, and um, I mean, that's it, man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a guinea pig. I'm really about this. I mean, that's, that's all I can say. Uh, so, But the first thing is that because... Semen retention boosts your testosterone levels and have you talking like this. But um, do other things to boost your testosterone as well. So my testosterone power pack is, and some people may go even further than this, you know, take supplements or whatever. But my power pack is, uh, so semen retention, cold showers, exercising, and... Depending on what your what your diet is like, um, uh, uh, intermittent fasting. All right, so a lot of anti aging things. Look at me, look at me. How old am I? I'm 29. All right, I haven't even been doing the best of taking care of myself over the years, and people say I'm about 23 or so. All right, so I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna take care of myself. So when I'm 50, people still think I'm about 30 or so. All right, I'm working on that. So that's the power pack right there for me. Some of you guys know other ways to boost your testosterone. Off top, I'm not really thinking of anything right now. Um, so yeah, go further with that. The next thing is to eat cleaner because you know you're trying to retain your vitamins and minerals and things like. Make sure you put in vitamins and minerals inside you. It's, re it's really that simple. All right. So it's, this is the perfect time to cut out a lot of junk food, a lot of the sugars, whatever it is. And start focusing, you know, and, you know, do some Google searches, man. Get yourself right. You know, we, we can't keep getting by with all the things that we were doing in our teens. And even in our 20s, it's time to shape up. All right. It's time to, um, you know, to take things to the next level. All right. And I was talking about eating clean. I kind of skipped over, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, boosting your testosterone. But I want to put a heavy emphasis on working out constantly. Working out, all right, because um, which your, your confidence is supposedly supposed to boost. Give yourself some help by working out frequently is going to boost your confidence, which uh, right on cue brings me to my next point. And uh, it, you know, it it may not make sense, but I'll say it anyway. It's to focus on deep eye contact, all right, especially with people who would otherwise kind of intimidate you, put fear in you. First of all, you should always be making eye contact. Make deeper eye contact. You know, so much so, like, you know, you see the way I'm looking at you. But so much so where it's like, damn, what the hell is going on in this man's mind? I cannot read him. You know, no wavering. Deep eye contact. All right? I'm, I'm not telling you to stare. And... I'm not telling you to do all of that. But, you know, look deep into, especially women. Especially women you think are out of your league. The prettiest women. Deep eye contact, all right, without being a fucking creep, by the way, all right, make sure you got something to say if you're not, you know, if you're not the one listening, you don't just stare, all right, that's, that's fucking weird, guys, all right, and the next thing is to take on more disciplines, all right, you're taking on one discipline, so take on some others, all right, so I was talking about intermittent fasting, that is a beast, that is a beast, you know what I'm saying, because I would go 16 hours for my last meal of the day, not doing that right now just because I take so many uh, medications. And, well, I don't take so many medications because I take medication and I take so many vitamins and supplements in the morning. I want to make sure that I eat it with something. All right. But um, also, just because I want to speak on this, within the first hour you being awake, you should not be eating because your heart is the most vulnerable. You should just want to drink some water for the first hour, meditate, whatever it is, then then eat. Okay. So. That's just a little heart health uh, fact and uh, tip. So, and uh, so the, 
Yeah, so, yeah, take on more disciplines, all right? So, um, I don't know, maybe you go to sleep earlier, maybe you read a book at a certain time, maybe you only watch TV for 30 minutes a day, um, I don't know, whatever it is, create more disciplines in your life since, you, you know, you're already focusing on one, keep it going. And the final thing is to learn new skills, all right? So, you supposedly... Uh, and in my experience, yeah, this is true. You you get a boost in creativity. Also, you get that through intermittent fasting as well, man. I was man, intermittent fasting can really pull out a lot of creativity. Um, but through semen retention as well, you get a boost in creativity, a boost in willpower, and all that. So learn new skills. Take on something that you uh that you always wanted to take on, or if you if you wanted to work for yourself, be your own boss, or whatever. Then just take that on. Get yourself some courses or whatever. And, uh, you know, you can go that way, man. Do everything. Ultimately, to sum this all up, man, do challenge yourself. All right. You're taking on one discipline. Don't just take on this discipline and say, hey, guys, well, I've been doing semen retention for a year. You know, where's my pats on the back? Everybody pat me on the back. Yay. What do you have to show for it? All right, everything has to be clicking on all cylinders. The way I like to go about things, and I'm going to keep saying it, wherever my enemy is, I'm sending everything I got to it. All right, so in in this scenario, my enemy is m mediocrity. Mediocrity. So everything that I put here is basically to fight mediocrity, give you a better, um, better life, uh, more f fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's that's what it's all about. It's all about optimizing our lives. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too extreme that I said on the list. But this will give you a better semen retention experience. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to... I'm past the point where I'm trying to introduce people to semen retention. If you've seen my video that went semi-viral, I mean, that's that's kind of all you need. You listen to, And listen to the other guys. Please do. Don't... You know, I mean, don't limit yourself to me. Other guys have different perspectives, different success stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have the success story of attracting a bunch of women. At least I don't think. I mean, well, like, I mean, kind of. You know, not necessarily out in public because, I mean, I don't really go out much. You know what I'm saying? I don't even put, I don't put myself in places like that. Also, not my focus. My purpose is my focus. You know what I'm saying? My daughter is my focus. You know, I got my child's mother in my life. So, well, what more do I need? I mean, that that's where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? I have all that I need, but, you know, there's still some things that need some work and that's where my 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 attention is you know what i'm saying uh you know i that's what it's all about i'm not about to ramble all right so thank you for you know spending eight minutes with me peace